Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an awesome Marshalls haul for you guys. Um, actually, this week Marshalls blew away TJ Maxx, which is a shocker because usually it's the other way around. I almost quit checking on Marshalls, but they've really been they've been having more stuff than TJ Maxx. So, um, anyways, found some great stuff. So let's get on with it. The first thing I found is they have a lot of the Too Faced peach products on sale. Um, I got the Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder infused with peach and sweet fig cream. And this is still available at Sephora for $30. So um, you can still get that. When I looked at it, I uh, super cute packaging and it smells really good like all their peach stuff does but it didn't really look like a translucent powder to me it looks like it's got a pink tone to it smells really good and it looks like it's a like a dimethicone type uh, blurring so it's got really mixed reviews on Sephora but I do like the peach line I do enjoy the peach fragrance and it was on sale for $12.99, so I thought I'd give it a shot. They had a lot of the Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks uh, as well. And I was really shocked to find a Too Faced Born This Way concealer. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm sure, I mean, this is a really great concealer. I was only able to find it in Medium Nude, which I am a light with uh, olive undertones. And this is described as a medium with gold undertones. But I thought that looked pretty light for a medium. Um, so it, look, it looked light enough that that would work for me. So, and I know this is a really good concealer. I didn't purchase it because it's kind of expensive, but I do have the Born This Way foundation, which I do like. So I was really excited to see this and get this. And it, this is $28. Uh, normally and I got it at TJ Maxx for $8.99 so that is a great deal on the Born This Way concealer and they might have had other colors but this was the only one I could find It's oil free naturally radiant and uh, I, the foundation's great so thrilled to get that um, net, oh real quick let me tell you I made a mistake I just filmed the uh, my TJ Maxx haul for the same date and I mentioned the Sephora Rouge and VIB uh, summer bonus sale and I got the dates wrong um, I just received my flyer in the mail yesterday and so it's going to be 20% off for Rouge they get to shop a day early which is August 19th to 27th <coughs> excuse me VIB gets 15% off and can shop the 20th to the 27th so um, get right on that, take advantage, start making your list. Excuse me, I've been talking too much. Get my uh, Jeffree Star straw. That was uh, for Bunny, <laughs> graveyard girl, she always does that. But anyways, I don't watch her very much anymore, but anyways, that's what she used to do. Okay, next, uh, this is just a cheap elf luminous blush but um i thought the color was really pretty it's only 2.99 and i intend to use this as an eyeshadow not as a blush it's a real pretty dark brown metallic maybe i'll try it as a blush we'll see but isn't that pretty for 2.99 i mean i'd have a metallic brown uh shadow for uh forever there but just a gorgeous color um well it does have kind of a kind of a a rosy undertone maybe I will try it as a blush we'll see what happens um, on the clearance you know they have a clearance just like TJ Maxx a clearance clearance aisle I found some uh, Marc Jacobs Lamarck cream lipsticks uh, this one was three dollars in the shade scandal okay and I thought this would be really good for fall you can buy these Marc Jacobs lipsticks um, at Sephora they're uh, $32 and they have a lot of colors available however I did not see this shade so maybe it's just a discontinued color the scandal it's a real dark plum 
Um, I thought it would be perfect for fall. So, um, but I couldn't find it. It looks like maybe it's a discontinued color. So you'll just have to go down to TJ Maxx and see what you can find. I have found like Jolly Molly, which is a current color that you can still buy at Sephora and other Marc Jacobs uh, lipsticks that are available. Uh, however, that I couldn't find that one. And then the other shade, uh, this is Mahogany, another shade that I thought would be good for fall. And this is a, a brown. Um, this this would be good too for uh, ladies with a deeper skin tone as well as that dark plum purple. But uh, anyways, I could not find this color either, so maybe those are discontinued colors. Uh, next, I got some uh, more Bare Minerals uh, Gen Nude Radiant and the Statement Luxshine um, lipsticks. The uh, the Radiant was two dollars, and I got this in the shade Honey Bun. And this shade is available at Ulta. You can still get it. It's uh, twenty dollars. And I thought that was a real pretty, it's a, it's just described as a toasted nude, and uh, that's right on. That's what that is. But for $2, and it's at Ulta for 20 bucks if you like that shade or you can't find it. Again, at TJ Maxx uh, and Marshalls both, you're going to find things you can still get, discontinued colors you can't get, totally discontinued products. So you just have to go see what they have because different stores will have different shades and it's just, a, you know, it's just a potluck kind of deal. And I think that's the fun of it. You never know what you're going to find, but you're always going to find something great. So next, a couple of the Lux Shine lipsticks. And they were a dollar a piece. Another great deal. And both of these are also $20. Um, and uh, you can find these at Ulta as well. Uh, Tease is described as a peachy pink with a gold pearl and I guess I accidentally bought two of the same shade yeah I sure did well okay I bought two anyways it's all good that's a real it is a peachy pink with a gold pearl so you can pick up one of those for a dollar uh, that is a that's a beautiful lipstick so um, and that shade is still available to Ulta all the bare mineral lipsticks being $20 Okay, next I got, this is a La Vanilla, the healthy deodorant, stick deodorant. I don't know if you remember when this was so popular. I think it was Kim Kardashian who made this, uh, the vanilla deodorant so popular. Uh, I had purchased these at Sephora before, and I like them okay. I mean, like most natural deodorants, they don't work that great, but, uh, but I like them. You know, I don't use the aluminum uh uh, chlorohydrate uh, products. I think that kind of maybe contributes to breast cancer because your your skin is your uh, largest organ of your body. It's considered an organ, and your pores absorb anything. You know that's why hair color, uh, deodorant, all that all that stuff is kind of you know you're absorbing that th through your skin. So you got to be careful there. So um, I guess I'd rather smell a little bit than. But anyways, this is a, a blackberry, a vanilla blackberry which um, I picked that up for $7.99. And although I used to be able to purchase this at Sephora, I went online to see if they're still selling the vanilla, and they're, only ha they only, they're not. So I don't know if this is a, a discontinued brand or Sephora's discontinuing it. I don't know if you're going to be able to find this or not. But I like that, and a vanilla blackberry, I mean, that sounds really good to me. So um, next... Another of the Crystal Invisible Solid Deodorant in the Chamomile Green Tea. I was able to pick this up for $3.99, and I absolutely love this. I've never heard of this brand. They carry it at TJ Maxx as well as Marshalls. They must be owned by the same company because their credit card uh, it has TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So this is a clear solid, and that, that, that Chamomile Green Tea, it just smells so good, and I like that it is clear. It's very non-whitening and uh, no aluminum, absorbs wetness, uh, non-sticky, non-staining, no white marks. I absolutely love this and I discovered it at TJ Maxx and this is uh, like about the third one I've bought. Okay, next I got, okay, on to the Becca. I saved the Becca for last because it seems like I start all my hauls with Becca because Becca's my favorite. So I went over there 
and they had I found another Becca Chrissy Teigen palette and I absolutely love this I picked it up I thought it'd be too dark for me I'm a light skin tone with olive undertones but uh, picked up another one this was $19.99 someone swatched one of the you've got two highlighters there a blush and a bronzer it is the rose gold highlighter the beach nectar highlighter I think that's exclusive to this palette hibiscus bloom blush and the Malibu Soleil bronzer and maybe because I'm a little tan for summer I mean I try to block out as much Sun but I do like to go to the water park a lot so um, I get a little bit dark but I absolutely I've been using this every day since I bought it and uh, it's sold out actually Becca right now on BeccaCosmetics.com website is having a 50% off sale all of their bronzers and some of their other other products but they're actually sold out on this palette um, but you can get it at Beauty Lit if you can't find it at your uh, it's worth the price it's uh, forty six dollars and Beautylish still has it so if you're looking for the Chrissy Teigen Becca palette go over to Beautylish before they sell out of it too because uh, it's a limited edition but it is a bestseller so maybe maybe it's not a limited edition maybe maybe there's out of stock on the website if you can get that at TJ Maxx so grab it for sure uh, next from Becca I found one of these uh, Passport to Glow. Uh, which is uh, a highlighter. It's called Ocean Glow. It's a shimmering skin perfecter pressed and sunlit bronzer. And it's a, I don't know, I just thought it was pretty and I'm a Becca sucker, obviously. Uh, $16.99. And it's in a silver flying saucer. They had these Passport to Glows. They had one, uh, a royal one, and, uh, you know, uh, this is the Australian one. So it has a it has a blue it's got a pink a blue and then a, uh, a bronze shade there let me let me see what it says I forget what it's called inspired by the Aussie beach lifestyle introduction ocean glow a limited edition highlighter of bronzer to celebrate Australian our Australian roots featuring two brand new shades of simmering shimmering skin perfecter pressed pink sand and Pacific blue okay so that's pink sand and Pacific blue and it's kind of like a opaly color. It's like a white with, you know, some little, you know, blue. Can you see the kind of little blue reflect there? And the pink sand, that is a, a, a pinky, like a rose gold. And then it's got the, um, the sunlit bronzer in bronze bondy. But anyways, I just thought that was cute for summer. So I bought it. Um, you can purchase this if you can't find it at your local Marshalls. Um, it is available, uh, let's see, um, it's $38, and, um, you can get it, it, actually it's on sale on the Becca website, this is one of the bronzers on sale, so, um, I got it for $16.99 at Marshalls, it's on sale at the BeccaCosmetics.com for $26.60, or you can get it at Beautylish for $38. So this is available um, if you can't find it, the uh, Becca Passport to Glow, okay? Next, I got a, uh, this is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. This is a huge amount of product, and I got it at Marshalls for $10.99. Uh, there are two shades available, Pink Haze, and I forget the other one. It's in a gorgeous, gorgeous, clear box, and I've got the pink. It's a pink powder, and all of this Becca stuff has five-star rating, so um, I was glad when, when I got home. It's got the, the sifter cap in it, and it's a pink shade. Again, pink haze, and it is a, you know, a setting powder, so a uh, soft light blurring powder. So it is uh, $38. And you can get it at the Becca Cosmetics website if you're looking for that, okay? It's still available uh, through Becca for 38 bucks. Okay, next I got a couple of the mineral blushes, and I have not been able to find the Becca mineral blushes anywhere. Um, they don't have them at Ulta or Sephora anymore. Um, these blushes are $32.00. But right now, at the BeccaCosmetics.com, they are on sale for half price. So this one is 
Wild Honey. This is this one is $7.99 over at Marshall's if you can find it. This one is is pretty hard to find. It's a it's a this is a good summer blush because it's a nice it's a it's a you know a nude brown you know it's just a nice it's just a nice summer blush it's got a little bit of a peach undertone but uh, again on sale over at BeccaCosmetics.com right now for sixteen dollars if you can't find it that's nice for summer and then the other one I got was in Flower Child and I have this this is just a backup I got it for six ninety nine over at Marshalls Again, this blush is available for $32 on sale, half price right now for Beck. I don't know how long the sale's going on, so get over there right now. Um, again, in their brown flying saucer, and this one in Flower Child is like their, their pinky peach. Just a nice, uh, this is different from the luminous blushes. These are like the more uh, matte blushes, and uh, just another gorgeous Becca blush. You can't go wrong with Becca so um okay that about does it last but not least okay i do have uh, this was the amazing fine deal of the whole deal uh this is the becca one perfecting blush uh brush and this is a giant brush the one perfecting brush and this is good for you for anything you want to use it for i got it for amazing six dollars this is a $49 brush, and it is because it's goat hair, which, and look at the size. You probably have seen this, but that, you know that goat hair brushes are very expensive. This is a large brush, and I had seen this at TJ Maxx. You can, uh, TJ Maxx has this as well, and I didn't realize it was a goat hair brush, and I was like, why is this brush so expensive? And then finally I read the box, and it says, a true beauty multitasker. This brush can be used with liquids, creams, powders, anything in between, non-porous, high quality natural goat hair, allows product to sit on top of the bristles, ensuring a seamless application and no wasted product. Uh, that's true. Um, this is unbelievable. This is a $49 brush. I got it for $6. And I could not find it anywhere except they don't have it at the Becca website. Um, I couldn't find it anywhere except Beautylish does have it, not with a brown handle, but the holiday they came out with a gold handle. You can still get this at the Beautylish website for $49. And actually, for a goat hair brush, you know, Wayne Goss brushes are goat hair. And um, they're a mate, it's a game changer. If, you, if you've not, ever had a good quality goat hair brush it's it's a it's the difference it's all that it's how you get the blown out eyeshadow looks that you see on YouTube they're using good quality brushes I mean put down the one dollar elf brush and go get you some good Wayne Goss brushes if you buy the Wayne Goss eye set your eyeshadow will be amazing I, I cannot believe the difference in you know and I you know I hope they're not killing goats maybe they're just combing the goats I mean that that really bothers me I mean I don't know what they're doing to the goats I hope they're not killing them but anyways it does make a difference and the goat hair brushes are high high quality uh, the Sonia G brushes are amazing as well but the Wayne Goss goat hair brushes you definitely need to set. so anyways um, get down to your TJ Maxx, your Marshalls, whatever you find, it's going to be good. They're fantastic. My name's Jackie. Thanks for tuning in. I um, I, I love I love great deals on makeup. I um, I'm saving a lot of money. It looks like I'm shopping a lot. I am shopping a lot over at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I'm not spending so much money. And I, I really don't I don't know what I don't think I I don't need my so I'm saving so much money and buying such great stuff at TJ Maxx and Marshalls that uh i mean i'm gonna use do a sephora recommendations for you you know with a natasha denona and Vizzy art and things that you're not going to see but i'm really not going to be spending much money at this sale so um because i'm a thrifty girl so <laughs> if you're a thrifty girl you know what i'm talking about anyways my name's jackie thanks for tuning in have a great day we'll talk to you later bye